Hey there! So, SpaceX's Starship SN10 launched yesterday! That's all I know. Literally all I know. But before you click away, I'm gonna tell you why that's all I know, and I think we should change that. Let's go. Go for the fly. Hey guys, Tori here from Overlook Horizon. Many of you joined me yesterday for the SpaceX Starship SN10 live stream that I did. I covered these all live, but as anybody that was watching knows, uh, I had a hard cutoff time yesterday. This is not my full-time job. I had somewhere to be uh, yesterday about 4 p.m. Eastern time. I had to leave. Starship ended up launching at about 6.15 p.m. Eastern time. I do know that it launched. I watched the beginning of the SpaceX stream. I watched to see if it launched. I saw four seconds after launch, and that's it. I shut off the phone. I turned, it's been off since 6 p.m. Eastern time, and now it's after midnight. So for six hours now, my phone has been off. I have no idea what happened. All I know is that it, it launched, and I thought we should hang out and uh, I'm gonna do a, a bit of a reaction. I'm gonna watch it because I wanna know what happened. So we're gonna record it and hang out with you guys. So we're gonna watch it. And then afterwards, maybe we'll do, we'll do some analysis and talk about it afterwards. So if you don't wanna watch the reaction, I'll make sure there's chapter timestamps below. You can skip ahead to the analysis part. But if you wanna see the reaction parts, let's jump into it. Let's find out what happened. So we're into it. Uh, this is the live stream from SpaceX, obviously. This is so weird, like you guys know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I feel like I'm the only one in the room that doesn't know what happened right now, but five minutes ago. So I'm also gonna use uh, the Flight Club telemetry here. This is from flightclub.io. Declan Murphy, who's like a magician, comes up with all the mathematical models here for this simulated telemetry. This is not from SpaceX, it's not real data, it's simulated data from a mathematical model that Declan has come up with. And I was really excited to use this during the live stream because it basically is the exact same flight as SN9. So if he analyzed SN9 and just plugged that model in here for SN10, it should be right on the money. Unless, unless of course you guys know something that I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Coming down to a minute. T minus one minute and counting. Starship 10 continues to look good. Ready for its test flight. Oh, I did see Forgot about this. I did see that they held at one minute. I saw that when I watched the launch. I was really hoping that maybe they'd hold, they'd scrub for the day and we could go on Thursday. I was like, oh, they're gonna scrub. But of course we know they didn't. The clock, the clock continues. It was not meant to be. Oh, I still have no idea. I lit, I'm not lying. Honest truth, I have no idea what happens. T minus 30. Yeah, buddy, 30 seconds. Come on. Oh, I just need to find out. Does it land? Does can she Come land in. it? What do you say? Twenty? Come on. Come on, stick the landing. Two minus ten. Yes. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ignition. We got lift off. FC2, please prepare for section 35, OSC, FC1, and LVN. Oh, some of those close up views, that was cool. Go, baby, 30 go. seconds, Starship 10 has lift off. It's headed to 10 kilometers on its test flight from Boca Chica in Cameron County, Texas. Go, baby, go. Coming up on engine 
one of the first engine cutoffs soon. Looks like they're dumping liquid oxygen overboard. Here we go. First engine cutoff. Oh, there it is in Flight Club. Still running in the video. Still running in the video. Still running in the video. Okay. Okay. Coming up on T plus two minutes, we're getting ready yeah. to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. Interesting. We're setting one engine off, that's intentional. Wow, they went they went a long time with three engines. This is longer than previous. Here we go. There's one. There it is. There's engine cutoff. First engine cutoff. That's normal. That's expected. It also looks like tilted more. I guess it's this way. Look, like this way more. It could just be the camera angle, but it, it looks way more tilted than I remember in the previous flights. There's our engine view. Running on two engines now. That third one gimbaled out of the way. Good boy. Get out of the way there. <laughs> Come on. Get those other two engines going. Something floating around in there. That's okay. Let's go. What are we at? Two minutes and 40, 50 seconds. So Apogee is somewhere around like four and a half minutes, if I recall correctly. So look at that tilt. It's got T plus three minutes and counting. Starship coming up on eight kilometers altitude. We're getting ready to shut down the second engine. This is intentional. Yeah, second engine. Now, that, I guess that tilt would be intentional now because now they have I'm offset clear. thrust. So there you go. There's oh, very nice. Second very nice. Migo. That looks like it was right on the money for Flight Club there. That second engine cut off. Okay, now to switch over to the header tank for the one engine. On that one engine, going to switch to the header tank. Prepare. We're actually we're getting close to close to apogee here. We're three and a half minutes. Slowing down. Good now. A little bit of cloud cover in the area. We're starting to kind of lose it in the clouds a bit. That's all okay, right. I'm going to come back up when we hit 10 kilometers right about in three seconds. Coming up on T plus four minutes, we're at 10 kilometers. We've gone into the hover. We're still being powered by the single Raptor engine. There we go. Look at look at Flight Club's data. That is that seems like it's right on the money. Still underpowered flight, slowing down, but it's kind of just hovering there under one engine. Oh, it's kind of tilted. That would be expected when you get kind of that offset thrust. We get like a fuel dump here for like the liquid oxygen. There it is. There it is. There's a flip. Flip it. Yeah. Look at this camera view. This is like right up there. Yeah, baby. Oh, here it comes. Oh, wow. It look, look at the clouds in the background. It makes it look like it's going so fast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, now it's coming down. Two plus four minutes and 40 seconds. Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode. Yeah, baby. Beginning, beginning the descent back to the landing zone. Yeah, baby. Belly flop there. Belly flop. Got the flap. The flaps going. Operation flapperation. Commence. Come on. Oh, this is the... Oh, my goodness. Is it going to land? Is it going to land? Please land. Come on. Come on. Land it. Oh, I really want it to land. Oh, come on. My prediction was that it would land, but the legs wouldn't hold and it would tip over. That was my prediction. I don't know why. I have nothing to back that up, but that's just, it was just, somebody asked me like what I thought was going to happen. I went, ah, I think this. Here we go. Here we go. Coming down four kilometers. They, in the past, they started up the engines at like, at like half a, at like 500 meters, I think. Coming up on five minutes, 45 seconds. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to oh, begin three, the flip yep. sequence. It'll culminate with landing on the landing pad in Boca Chica. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah, buddy, I hope so. Come on. Oh, look at that view. Oh, 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 yeah, three engines. There's no 
Oh, boom! It landed! What? It landed! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, it landed! Oh, that is a gorgeous sight! Look at that! It didn't even tip over. It does look like it has a bit of a lean, but... Oh, that looked so much better than the previous flights. That looked like way under control. It seemed like they started that earlier, too. Like they started that flip and then just came in like nice and gentle. Oh, that looked so good. Look at her standing there. At a way, SN10. Third time's a charm, as the yes. saying goes. We've had a successful soft touchdown on the landing yes. pad. That's capping a beautiful test flight of Starship 10. As a reminder, the key point of today's test flight was to gather the data on controlling the vehicle while re-entering, and we were successful in doing so. We had a nominal ascent. We had the maneuver to place Starship horizontal when we reached 10 kilometers right on time. And then during the subsonic entry, it appears we had good control of the vehicle using the front and aft flaps. And as we approached the landing pad, we successfully lit the three Raptor engines to perform that flip maneuver. And then we shut down two of them and landed on the single engine as planned. Single a engine, A beautiful okay. soft landing of Starship on the landing pad at Boca Chica. Oh. Also, a congratulations to the Starship team in Texas. Where's the They've steadily increased the test launch cadence over the course of the program and have delivered some of the most exciting test flights many of us have seen in a long time. The Texas team has several more suborbital test vehicles in build, with number 11 ready to roll out to the pad in the very near future. It's an inspiring time for the future of human spaceflight. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you'll join us for the next test flight of Starship 11. Oh, baby. It's a little off-center, but that's okay. Oh, man. Holy smokes. She did it. Oh, my goodness. It landed. Oh, that's so awesome. I can't believe how awesome that was. Like that, I don't even know what to say. Like that looked so good and like under control. I gotta watch that again. Begin the flip sequence. All right, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta watch that again. This was... It'll culminate with this landing awesome. on the landing pad in Boca Chica. So three engines start, landed on one engine, though. Here we go. Look at this. This is so awesome. One, two, three. Controlled. That was awesome. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to do for analysis. I was gonna do an analysis, but this is my analysis. My analysis is holy that was awesome. <laughs> There's the analysis. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like it looked like that looked picture perfect. It just it just touched down like it looks it looks just a tiny bit like like this way, or I guess it's this way. Just just a tiny bit, not much. You can't really see the landing legs, though. It almost looks like it's it's right down on the launch pad, but that can't be. The, the landing legs have to be there. And you can't see, I'm looking for the landing legs, but you can't really see it. But there's a little bit of like venting going on, so they gotta be there. You just can't really see them. I, I was gonna do an analysis, but my analysis is, that was awesome. That's all I got. That's it, really. I don't, I don't know what to do after that, but uh, I'll see you next time. Five minutes later. Wait a minute. It blew up. I, I thought I was done. What? I, I was just, I was getting ready to start editing that video footage. And I, I jump on, I jump on to see Twitter. Cause now I can turn my phone back on and it blew up! What? So, I'm watching Lab Padre afterwards just to get a look at it and the thing blew up! What? It, this was like eight minutes after landing. 
Like it landed. And then it, it went kaboom. Oh, I can't believe it. Look at that a little, looks like a COPV flying over my shoulder there. If we back it up a little bit, like well before that, like minutes before that, it looks like there's some sort of fire. Because looking on Lamp Padre's camera, like that is some dark smoke there. Like that's not venting. That is like, that's burning. Something's on fire. But then if we go frame by frame here and just step it forward, we can clearly see right here, you see some dark smoke coming right from the, right from the Elanorons, the flaps there. Get some dark smoke that comes out just a fraction of a second before she takes off again. Look at it go. Boom. I just can't, I can't believe that. Oh no! Ah! So a pretty good view of it, I think, comes right here from Lab Padre's launch pad cam here. On landing, it kind of looks like it bounces. There's a little bit of a bounce there, and then almost immediately after landing, we get a fire at the base of the rocket. You can see it right there. There is a fire happening that is uncontrolled right now. And I don't know if that's from a fuel leak. It kind of seems like maybe it, it landed, but it was a hard landing. Now we have a fuel leak of some sort, maybe. They did, however, start putting water on it and it almost seemed like they got it under control for a bit. You can see right here, they're activating the water cannon. It's over to the left there. There's not a ton of fire happening, but obviously we can't see what's happening up underneath the skirt there in the engine compartment. So maybe the fire's still burning up under the engine compartment and eventually breaches the fuel tanks. And then right before, right before she blew up, look at the water cannons is off. There's no fire. And then kaboom. Oh, it just, look at it come back down. Ah. Oh, oh no. Oh, poor SN10. You did good. You did, you did so well. One of the problems, I think, when you get a fire like this, like we're dealing with liquid oxygen here, which is just gonna help fuel that fire. So that's gotta be really hard to put out a fire when you have that much liquid oxygen, especially if it's if there's some sort of leak and you're leaking liquid oxygen out onto an uncontrolled fire. Or maybe you're leaking liquid oxygen and methane and you've got a super uncontrolled fire. Oh man, I thought, I thought it was good. Uh, it was good in the end. It was either way. It was good, but obviously that's not what we hoped for. We we'd hope maybe SN10 would live to fly again another day, but obviously not today. Well, now I guess we wait for analysis from SpaceX as to what happened there. It seems like my guess: hard landing, fuel leak, fire. <laughs> that's it. There's my analysis for you. And I guess I will see you next time. Goodbye.